Did you know Jeep built and designed at least three prototype vehicles before launching the production-ready 1963 Jeep Wagoneer? Hey guys, my name is Garrett and welcome to this week's Wagoneer Wednesday video on Slay's Garage. If you're new around here, this is my 1986 Jeep Grand Wagoneer project that I've been slowly restoring. I'm really hoping to paint it within the next year or so, so make sure you subscribe for Wagoneer Wednesdays at 7pm and follow this project. First prototype I'd like to show you is this 1959 Jeep Malibu prototype. Just based on the design of the vehicle, it does look quite a bit different from what we got with the 1963 Jeep Wagoneer. It's got one body line, it looks like, that stretches the length of the vehicle from front to back. The doors are a little bit of a different shape. That rear window is more of a slanted square look. And up front with that grill, I find this really, really interesting. On the 1966 Jeep Wagoneer, this is the sort of grill that we get. Got. I find it very interesting that Jeep ultimately ditched this grill in favor for what we got on the 1963 Jeep Wagoneer. The exterior design on the 59 Malibu was a collaboration between the Willys design staff led by Jim Angers and Brooks Stevens. Not to mention Brooks Stevens was the one who went on to design many other vehicles for the Jeep brand such as the 1946 Willys Jeep station wagon the Willys Jeepster, and the final design production-ready 1963 Jeep Wagoneer. That front bumper sure does look pretty interesting. What do you think about the overall design? I really, really like the tires and that nice beefy tread that they gave this prototype, and I like the W's in the center caps of the wheels. I originally found this prototype floating around on the web and fortunately two photos of this prototype survived. So sitting right beside it is the outgoing 1960s Willys Jeep station wagon. So in comparison it looks like the Willys station wagon sits a little bit taller or has a little bit more of a beefy suspension setup. The Malibu looks a little bit wider and lower to the ground, maybe for a center of gravity and handling. The next prototype vehicle I'd like to show you is this 1961 Jeep J100 prototype. I am really, really liking this look a little bit more than what the Jeep Malibu design had to offer. If you remember on the Malibu, it was a four-door. And first thing off the bat that I noticed on this Jeep was that this one is a two-door, so it got me thinking. I'm wondering if this J100 prototype was intended to be just a two-door vehicle only, or if there was possibly going to be a four-door variant of this vehicle if they were to put it into production. But again, first thing off the bat that really pops out is that grill and that front bumper, and I really, really like the fender flare on the front fender there. I really, really like this design. It's more of a squared off jaw-like brawny and muscular type of appearance. And also up front, you see that original Willie's grill starting to take shape. And that's what we ultimately ended up getting on the 1963 Jeep Wagoneer. And unfortunately, there's only one of these pictures. And I'm not sure if any of these prototypes survived, if they're still around somewhere, if Chrysler is hiding them. This next prototype I'd like to show you, I believe it's an early 1960s or late 1950s Jeep Berkeley prototype. I'm not 100% on the name. I have read online and also in a couple different Jeep history books that there was a Berkeley prototype that was a sibling to the Jeep Malibu prototype. And it was a little bit different than the Malibu. However, it was more production ready. And ultimately, the biggest differences compared to this Jeep Berkeley prototype and the production ready Jeep Wagoneer was the front with the hood and the grill. The attempt was to make it more elegant. Thankfully, this design was ultimately rejected. Here's a bonus one for you. Not a lot of information on this. I did find it online. Not sure if they made any. This might be just a drawing, but you can never be too sure. So you gotta let me know which one of these prototypes was your favorite and do you think Jeep should have built any of these instead of the 63 Wagoneer or maybe they should have built one of these alongside the 63 Wagoneer. 
Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I might make another one of these videos talking about the concept vehicles that Jeep never brought to us. So make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe for Wagoneer Wednesdays at 7 p.m. I've got so many things to do to this Jeep, so make sure you subscribe. But in the meantime, since it's winter here in the Detroit area in Michigan, there's no heat in this garage, so it's a little bit cold. So I've been making some Jeep history videos and other Jeep Wagoneer related videos. So again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a great day.